The next part of our call to the stage is a gentleman that's performers probably about six times. Um, his best friend performers uh, twice. He used to be the video camera guy for our shows, but um, he passed away. Um, he was in a terrible accident. And um, we sent our big condolences out to uh, Wizard, our good friend, the poet, Wizard, rest in peace. So I'm going to call his best friend to the stage. And he goes by the name of K-Pop. Put your hands together for K-Pop in the building. Stand a little strong. How's it going, my friend? Um, me and Stoke were having a discussion about the American dream. And um, this is my response, I guess. You can kind of tell on what instructions do our constructions permeate the poison that resonates the noise in our souls to scream to deaf ears? Years of fear reared in notes of hatred, fueled by pangs of love, hidden like gangs of thugs in white houses, quieter than holiday mouses and blinder than those three. So the epitome of democracy is anything economists conjured up to be. So all we see is nothing but numbers, rationalized blunders, oxymoronic like just wars, truth perpetually driven asunder, smart bombs acting quite dumb when they miss targets and hit crowded civilian markets. Witness the laughable tragic drama when Saddam's are hung for the crimes of Osama while raping Mama Earth so it gives birth to miscarriages of mirth. Keeping the masses satisfied with the lies fabricated behind glasses, the separation of intelligence and state and religion used as bait, these fascists lying to those half awake, hail will fall through the frozen rivers of sticks when the city stops raising dicks that pollute the sky, scraping it till the ozone is deprived. But what attention is given to the sunshine that's imprisoned itself to greenhouse effect? So put away those nines and texts, cause global warming will bring the heat like jets that were discreet, so much so that they're invisible, like the cancer from radiation and atomic bombs. So US history makes a mystery to what happens to Japanese bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Mary thorns in history's palms. In mystery it calms down to nothingness, remaining hidden like leaves, Hagakiri. Surreptitious these thieves, robbing innocents from graves of future slaves, present indentured servants, whose masters hide behind curtains, banks holding our loop for uncertain amounts of time. Ah, the capitalist paradigm. Interesting how interest rates don't decline when cash is hard to find for masses that live much below the poverty line. And employment is not for the mind, but decapitated bodies. Minds folded between the fine lines of commercials, infinite rehearsal to embed its intrinsic paternal control. So the Pandora's <coughs> box unfolds. But where's the hope when populations of minorities are poisoned with dope, supplied by the same men that lynch them with ropes that stitch the patched foot of legislation? Even control in our public viewing stations. So how do we cope when popes get their own cities while people dwell in cells of perfidy and first world children watch Sesame Street while third world kids listen to the lullabies of semi automatics? The tragic lives of children who witness their mothers and sisters raped must be fake how they survive, even with their brothers and fathers burned alive. But who cares, anyways? Our airwaves and movies, even video games, cruelly condition our appetite. So the corpses of children exponentially climbing internationally don't matter, so long as our bellies can get fatter, so our minds produce that negative data. And the same fucking song plays over and over on popular media. Ignorance seeps slower and slower into our brains. We sleep, never to weep again. Until the end, we pretend not to see ourselves as the cause of the global holocaust. Cause the city never sleeps, but indeed it's deep how ignorance perpetuates the petulant screams and with waking eyes we hallucinate the American dream. Oh.
Again, this is experimental, so I don't know. Amidst the wilderness, the snake hisses as the moon takes sips of a cotton candy sky that are a canopy manifested as clouds. I don't resist its rain, but watch out for snake bites by lakes, right? The sight slightly brightened by the air pressure tightened with the force of titans like Ovid, immortalizing as I'm writing, igniting different flames to excel beyond fame. Amidst the insane, amidst the wilderness, crisp as fragrant as snake hisses that smells and sips like I take the hits without being them. And the soul will start to run away in dismay, delayed by the lights of another day. I rise above the earth, surpass the flesh and become the word, the written representative, negative and positive and everything in between. You know what I mean? Because I can be mean or average, but currently I'm savage, producing MC cadavers by the barrels, cause cats is too shallow, not enough for calcitrants in their bone marrow. So get out that trance of a false tomorrow. Try not to be the pharaoh, but the prophet, carrying not the arrows, but the words. But technology seeks to replace our nerves and gather us into herds, christened cities, with lessons that are never pretty. But petty crimes are plenty. The mind settles gently back into the natural state. So if one does not escape, they are doomed to replicate their surroundings. <coughs> this mind control, how astounding, by hypocritical mockers sitting at feasts, gnashing the innocent with their teeth. Thank <laughs> you.